So in this video, we're checking out three different cameras, one shooting at 8K, 24 frames per second. The second one is shooting at 5K, 24 frames per second. And the last one is shooting at 4K, 24 frames per second. So this will be the challenge today. Can you tell the difference between the three resolutions, 8K versus 4K versus 5K? And for the 8K device that I'll be using is this awesome Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. So this is a two year old mobile phone. But at that time in 2020, when it launched, this had the highest spec mobile phone in the market that anyone has ever seen. So this Samsung S20 Ultra has a 6.9 inch dynamic AMOLED display with HDR10 putting out 1400 nits. And most impressive of all is that it has 120 hertz refresh rate, which is insane at that time when it launched back in 2020. Of course, now we have the S20 Ultra and the S22 Ultra and all that display with the Corning Gorilla Glass 6 on the front and the back as well. And it has a main camera shooting 108 megapixels and it can also shoot 8K 24 frames per second video, all for a price right now of just 500 bucks, guys. So that's why I picked it up. And I prefer this design with the glass back as compared to the S21, which is about 700 bucks with the Corning Gorilla Glass 6 backing instead of the new S21 Ultra with that plastic backing and the Gorilla Glass underneath of that. So I prefer this design. So this all for just 500 bucks. So the device that will be shooting the 5K video will be this popular camera in the market, which is the GoPro Hero 9 Black. Of course, we do have the GoPro Hero 10 Black, but I still stuck with this because there's not much difference. So this can shoot 5K 24 frames or 5K 30 frames per second, but I'm gonna be using 5K 24 frames per second, normal color profile, and I'll be using the 27 millimeters lens on this. And like I said, the Samsung S20 Ultra is using a 26 millimeters lens. And last of all, the last challenger, which will be shooting the 4K video would be a full frame camera that was launched last year, the Sony A7C, and it will be shooting in 4K 24 frames per second in natural color profile. And I'll be using the Sam Yang 24 millimeters F 1.8 FE lens. So yeah, let's get to the challenge. I'm gonna show you all three videos. I'm not gonna tell you which is which. So can you identify between the 8K video the 5K video and the 4K video and you tell me which one looks the best and at the end of the video, we'll check out and analyze to see if the Samsung S20 Ultra, basically a mobile phone or a 300 or maybe you can get this $300 camera with 5K video or A7C, which is an all right mirrorless full frame camera, which costs with the lens, I think about $2,500. So a lot of difference in the prices, $2,500, and the Samsung right now, if you pick it up secondhand, you probably can get it between 450 to 500 bucks. So let's get straight to the video. So this is the second device that I'm showing you. Can you tell the difference? Is it any good whether this is 8K, 5K or 4K video? I'm just gonna get up close and then back. How does it look? Is it any good? So get a good look. And now I'm gonna zoom in at 200% right now. Is it clear? Is it any good? How's the video? I'm not gonna tell you which device this is. And then, yep, now we're gonna move on to the second device and then you'll see which one is looking better, whether this one or the next one or the device after that. So I'm gonna swap over right now. All right, so this is the second device and how does it look? Can you tell the difference? Get a good look of the surroundings, my face and everything. And then right now, I'm gonna zoom into 200% right now. 
get a good look. Is it over sharpened? Is it pixelated? How does it look? Are the colors looking strange? Is there a lot of grain? That, you know, that is one of the issues of having a really high resolution uh, device or when you shoot in really high resolution. There seems to be a lot of grain in the video. So is it looking strange or is it looking really, really sharp at 200%? Well, let's go back to 100%. And then after this, we're going to the last device and then you sort of decide which one you prefer. And then we'll go upstairs to get some landscape videos, 8K, 5K and 4K. Just a short one for you to do a comparison. And then last of all, we'll do the analysis. So let's move on to the third device right now. So let's go. Okay, so right now, this is the last device that I'm showing you. Can you tell which device this is? Is this the Samsung S20 Ultra with its 8K 24 frames per second video? Or is this the GoPro Hero 9 Black with the 5K 24 frames per second video? Or is this the Sony A7C with the 4K 24 frames per second video? Have a good look. How does it look? Is it clear? I'm gonna zoom in right now to 200%. There you go. Can you see the difference? Is it pixelated? Does it still look good at 200%? All right, so this is the last camera. So uh, right now we're just gonna do some sample video shots upstairs. So we're gonna shoot landscape video for all three devices and then you tell me which one looks the best. So let's go. All right guys, so back to the very first device of the challenge and I'm doing a vlogging style right now just to give you a view which one do you think this device is? 8K, 5K and 4K and which of them looks the best? So this is the first view. We're just gonna stand here for about 10 seconds. The whole area is like a shipping area with cargo and stuff, it's called Keppel. And then we'll come here facing the sun and hopefully the video still looks fine. This one has a more uh, nice field of view, I guess. You can see the road, the buildings, the cargo terminal, everything all in one. So take a good look, how's the clarity, the sharpness and everything whether the video is overexposed or something like that. And then we're gonna zoom in 200% right now. How's the clarity? Is it good? Is it over sharpening or anything like that? How's the video looking? It is a little bit foggy today. Yeah, it seems really foggy today for some reason. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out right now and then we're gonna swap over to the second device. So take a good look. Okay, gonna swap over right now. Okay guys, so this is the second device of this challenge. Just giving you a vlogging style view. Is it any good? All right, so take a good look at the shipping terminal, the Keppel here. How does it look? Just gonna give you a view right now and then we're gonna move over to the other side which gives us a larger uh, area to look at. So now I'm gonna move over. All right, so here we go. Get a good look. Again, which one is the Samsung S20? Which one is the GoPro Hero 9 Black? And which one is the Sony A7C mirrorless camera? So I'm gonna punch in right now to 200%. How does it look? Is it clear? Is it overexposed? Is it over sharpened which one looks good and then now i'm going to zoom out again and then i'm going to give you five more seconds and we move over to the last device five four three two one and zero so let's move on to the last device right now all right all right so last device here for this challenge all right so here we go singapore flag because Singapore's National Day is coming on the 9th of August. So yeah, let's get a view. 
How does it look? Keppel shipping cargo terminal or whatever they call it. Pan around. Okay, so now we're at the wider field of view. I mean, there's more things to see here. So you can see the road and stuff. So how does it look? Is it overexposed? There's a lot of clouds and the place looks really foggy today. Not so sure why. So you're gonna punch into 200% for you to get a good look. And then after this, we'll do an analysis and hope you guys can comment down in the comment section which one is device A, which one is device B, and which one is device C. Is it the first or the second or the third image? Okay, we're gonna zoom out right now and then we're gonna do the analysis in five, four, three, two, one. So let's go. All right guys, so analyzing time and I think straight out of the box is pretty obvious who was the winner and didn't really need to uh, look too much into the details. But among the three, I'm gonna give you the answers right now. Camera A was the GoPro Hero 9 Black. Camera B was the Samsung S20 Ultra and camera C was the Sony A7C. So basically among the three, the obvious winner would be the Sony A7C, which is camera C. So how many of you guys got it correct? So basically pretty uh, obvious. I think the resolution at the end of the day doesn't really make much of a difference. Uh, basically it's the sensor size. So if you were to look at the sensor size, I'll show you over here on the screen for the Samsung S20 Ultra, the sensor size is actually 1 over 1.33 inches, which is uh, the second biggest uh, among the three. 1 over 1.33 inches, that's the size of the camera sensor on the 108 megapixels camera. Uh, and then on the GoPro, basically, uh, I did some research and the sensor size on the GoPro besides the GoPro Hero 10. Mine is the GoPro Hero 9 Black. So that is using a 1 over 1.23 inches. So slightly smaller uh, than the Samsung S20 Ultra. So the GoPro Hero 9 Black has the smallest sensor among all three devices. And obviously the uh, full frame camera has a full frame sensor, which is uh, a lot a lot bigger than the other two so basically resolution didn't really play a big part it was at the end of the day the sensor size that mattered the full frame 4k video look better than the 8k and the 5k video so basically yeah that's about it that's the analysis i hope all of you got it uh, correct and uh, basically i hope this helped you to decide if you are going to be doing professional videos like wedding videos and stuff what kind of device to choose and not cheap out on the smaller sensor cameras i mean it is good uh they are pretty good but if you're going to do professional work not like instagram TikTok, or your own kind of youtube videos it won't matter so much if you, someone is paying you to do it then uh, people expect pretty high quality so best to use maybe an APS-C or even a micro four thirds camera would be much bigger uh, uh, sensor size than if you were to use a GoPro or a mobile phone so yeah basically that's about it guys thanks for watching this video and I hope this uh, helped you to decide what kind of device to get uh, hit the subscribe button the like button and the notification button guys and I'll see you in the next one peace